All right, all right. Welcome to the podcast, Apex. Thank you for coming on. How is your day today? How is everything uh, going on recently? Thanks for having me, bro. Um, lately, I've been doing me, trying to discover new flows, um, trying to discover new people that's out here and make new bangers. You already know the vibes. Yeah. Um, you did a song. How'd you start working with Tizzy, man? Like, I really fuck with everything that you've done with Tizzy, and that's how I found you, obviously. But how'd you meet Tizzy in that? And how'd that go down? <laughs> Damn, Tizzy, yo. That's been my nigga since middle school. Um, basically, I was really the quiet person in the classroom. I just tried to pay attention to the teachers. I was basically the only nigga who actually want to learn and shit. And Tizzy saw that there was one time that Tizzy saw people bullying, bullying me just for that. And he stepped up and he been my brother ever since then. Um, <laughs> at first though, I'm not gonna lie. When I saw Tizzy, I was kind of nervous because I was smaller than him at first. Like, <laughs> damn, this nigga, how I say, like, I said, damn, this nigga look like he's about to beat me the fuck up. <laughs> but <laughs> but he, he, he was cool, man. He was cool. That's basically my older brother, yo. That's what's up, and um, did around this time you start making music, like not with him, but like when in your early days did you start making music? Was it in high school, was it in middle school, or was that recently? Um, Damn, Um, I started um, when I was 17, I think. Um, I was 17, I just turned 17. Um, I made my first song called Enemies. Um, That was with um, Rambo and my, my older brother. Um, my older brother used to rap before any of us, so he kind of taught me a little bit of the ropes before I jumped in. And um, that was basically my birthday gift. He said, yo, bro, like, I'm, we know you sing. We know you do all this shit. Let's see how you can rap. And I showed them what I can do, and they loved it ever since. So, like, was your brother that guy who you saw doing it, and you were like, "That's did that inspire you when you saw your brother able to do music? or And then, did, so I'm saying, it's like he kind of got you into that, your brother did? Now, not only my brother did, but the biggest person that got me into music had to be Rambo, Rambo Rich. It had to be him. Um, it had to be my other cousin, Nov, and it had to be Tizzy. It had to be Tizzy. Those are the top. Those are the three, man. Those are the, they're the few people that helped me get to my groove, and they all knew that I had some type of music in me, and they let me discover it. Yeah, no, Nov, or as you know, people who listen to his music know him as Double R. How did you meet him? Because that's one of one of the most interesting local figures in the music scene. I was proud to do that little, you know, vlog documentary, whatever you want to call it. That was that was a blast. How did you meet him? Is isn't he related to you? Yeah. Yeah, he's my yeah he's my he's my older cousin. Um, at, at first, like I even I didn't I knew he had music in him, but how he how he did it amazed me like i did not know that this nigga had that shit in him and seeing seeing him doing doing this shit just makes me say shit i can do this shit too and we can make this whole family shit and we can all blow up together yeah yeah and you know on you know groups of people and you know who you rock with and who you fuck with when it comes to music you do you've told me that you're in a music group what, what's this music group and who's in it and how'd you get in that group why don't you speak on that all right, that um, our group's called Paradise. Um, it's me, it's Rambo Rich, and our two other niggas we fuck with a heavy called it Marco, and slowly, basically I was doing um, I was trying to do a music video out near University of Delaware, and it was for one of my um songs, and basically um we can't we didn't finish it fully, and we're gonna try to do it we're trying to do it another day, and then we were just singing that song. And they said, Marco just saw us and saying, yo, you guys sound great, man. We need to get to the studio and shit. And he said, bet, what day? He, he said, right right now, right now, if anything. He said, all right, we know a studio. Went in there, made a track, had to be one of the best ever group shit that I've done since forever. And we just made, we just said, yo, we need to make us a group. And Paradise was born. That's awesome. That's awesome, bro. Do you guys have a, a SoundCloud out or anything that uh, I can link to? We got an album out right now. It's called New Arrivals. It's all streaming platforms. Album, yeah. music, YouTube, everything. Yeah. Rambo, didn't you one of your songs hit 50K? Which song was that? 
There's this song called uh, well, it's called someone. Yeah, how well, how was the recording of that? Like, um, what was making that song like? Cause that's seems to have been popping uh, off lately. Talk, talk, talk your shit, okay. bro. Uh, well, I mean, it, it basically was made the same way every other song that I make is made. I I heard the beat. And I instantly, I, I, my mind instantly grabbed it. Like it grabbed it like it was like, like it was like asking to be reached. You know what I'm saying? It's like the, the beat spoke to me, you know what I mean? And then I spoke to the beat, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like, I, I literally got in, did the hook. And from there, I, I, I knew that Okay, I want I want to place the song a certain way, and I don't want to be I want to be all over it, but I want to be I want it to be everybody in the room with me on the song because we were all artists in the room. So I was like, okay, so I want all of us to have a piece of the song in places that's gonna make everybody stand out the most ways possible. So I had people come before me after the hook, and then it just all just came together smoothly and then the song we took it to the studio got a great mix and then i just dropped it did what it did i didn't even i i didn't do no promotion i didn't promote the song at all i just dropped it the algorithm picked it up you know because sometimes like there's certain songs that soundcloud be recommending and i think i like the soundcloud algorithm is pretty I, I love it compared to uh, spotify i don't know like what streaming service do you use yeah. I use everything now. I used to just use SoundCloud was like the main streaming service I used that and Apple. And now I use everything. Yeah. What you sipping on, bro? Hey man, this is regular Sprite. <laughs> regular Sprite. <laughs> we ain't drinking no dirty tonight. You know what I'm saying? You're just you're regular. chilling tonight. You're chilling tonight. Yeah. yeah no dirty tonight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Regular Sprite tonight. Yeah. So like, how did you you two? You know, I'm like. You two are always together, you know, making something, hanging out from from what I see, you know what I mean? But how did you two get together and make some make some tunes and, and how did you guys meet? Damn, alright. I mean we this is my little cousin, so Oh word. Yeah. All yes. all, <laughs> all, fam, all family vibe. Um yeah. basically what happened was I, when I did enemies, I I made a couple songs right after that. And I just told myself that um, I had a big ass music block. And then I just told myself, okay, I need to see if I can do something else and see. Story short, niggas, niggas, got, niggas got with girls that we shouldn't have. And um, we had to do a lot of heartbreak shit. And one of my cousins told us saying, yo, fuck these bitches. Y'all should make a fucking al album together. Y'all both got broken up at the same time. And we both got broken up at the same damn time. So. We just said, they just said, let's make a freaking, let's make an album, y'all too. Let's just make it. And let's call it Bangers After Breakups. Show them hoes that they made a big ass mistake. That's <laughs> fire. That's epic right there, bro. That's, That's epic. That's basically how I put them. Like, we already, like, the first song I ever did with him was Enemies, like he said, way back in the day. It's old as shit. Yeah, 2017. Some real old shit. And that was before I really found him town too so like um we got we got together and and was going to start making music again but at the time we were in the, we both were in a relationship so at the time i really wasn't making music as much when i was in my relationship i don't know i was just going through things and and then we both broke up with both our spouses at the same time and it literally both made both of us say, you know what, let's just lock in with this music. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Just to take this shit to another level. And then we made a tape. We got seven songs. And then we met Marco Sensei and Slowly Santos. And then we made Paradise. That's what's up. I'm, 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 I'm glad to see that. But um, how, you guys, um, I found you through Jace and stuff and, and Tizzy. But um, how did you guys work with Jason? What would you say about Jace's music? and uh, what they got going on at SRG. When I got introduced to SRG, um, Tizzy, um, Tizzy invited me into that shit. Tizzy um, wanted me to um, 
do being SRG, but I was already in paradise. How I met Jace, yeah, you just said it. I met it from Tizzy. And when I when I saw how this nigga rapped and how he's his flow is, it 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 was different. It was like out of this world shit. And I said, damn, I need, this is another talent that I didn't even know of until now. So I said, yeah, I gotta make a track with him. I like I like Jason's music. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a like a rock star Travis Scott type of vibe, type of feel when you hear a sound, it's like that. I would think a little peep for me. He's like a little a, peep too. Yeah, yeah, he got that little peep in him. Got a little peep <laughs> too, so yeah. you got you guys like little peep? Uh, yeah, yeah sure. I'm about to say definitely, uh, definitely. Yeah. What tracks from Lil Peep do you fuck with? Died of Xanax, you know, I used to be a big Xan head, you know what I'm saying? A big Xan head, the R.P. Lil Peep. Yeah, know. definitely. Rest in peace to that legend, you know. Rest in peace. Yeah, so what songs from Lil Peep do you fuck with? Ooh, that's hard. Um, That is really hard. Lil Peep had, Lil Peep had a lot of um, hard shit. Um, my favorite Lil Peep song, one of them is Hellboy. Oh, my God, bro. That's, that's probably it's the like first. Hellboy. That's the first joint I heard from him. Oh my god! That song I like. Um, I like Beamer Boy. Yeah, bro. That's like real old too. I like Save That Shit. I like a lot of little peep. I like little peep. I'm not gonna lie. Um, a list. I think I listened to him after he died. Sadly, I wish I, I was really a late bloomer on this on him. Um, but it's uh, White Tea. I think it was my favorite song I from like him. White Tea. Um, but there was, I forgot what this song was called, but it was one from what he did with Lil Tracy. And, um, I, I like, he was, got a lot of damn, songs. Cobain. Yeah, not Cobain. Cobain it was, nice. I heard about it. Yeah, Cobain's nice. It's a good song. <laughs> it's a good song, yeah. I like Lil Peep. I think it's called Oh. I think that's what it's called. It's just called Oh. Yeah. You know what's good about Peep is how, like, he was able to do that emo, you know, that awesome, like, that rock star shit. But he also did like straight up cloud rap. You know what I mean? Like he did that yeah. that young lean clams casino sounding uh, stuff. Are you yeah. a fan of uh, young lean or the sad boys crew? Definitely, definitely young lean and clams casino. You know, I used to I grew up listening to ASAP Rocky and shit like that too. So like you know, ASAP Rocky was a big influence to me growing up as a kid and shit. So and he was a big clams casino head. You know what I'm saying? So definitely, definitely. Yeah, and Lil B, we also got to gotta shout out the Bass God, too, because, like, you know, Bass I think. God, you know, Bass God. Bass God, Rocky fucked with Bass God and all that, too. They, for, for, they, are, they are the original cl- SoundCloud boys. People who don't know this. And a- Xavier Wolf and Bones, too. Those yeah. are the original SoundCloud boys. People don't know this, though. They don't know this. Yeah, they think Asia like Rocky. they think like Juice World was the originator, or you know, nah. Peep or Asia any of them. them. They were the originators. And Raider yeah, Clan too. Raider Clan way. too. Are you familiar yeah, with Raider Clan? Sure. Raider Clan. Raider Clan. Space Ghost Perp. I actually never heard of them. Mm. I actually never heard of them. You see, I like Space Ghost Perp a lot. Yeah, a lot, a lot. Matter of fact, I was listening to him earlier. You were listening to him today? What track? I was listening to the song he did with Denzel Curry. Fuck, I can't remember what it's called, but it's fire now. But yeah, Denzel yeah, Curry, shout bro. Out, shout, out, shout out Denzel Curry, too. Yeah, Denzel Curry, definitely. Denzel Curry is a good rapper as well. You know, what's cool about Denzel is how, like, um, how long he's been in this shit, you know what I mean? Like, he's been around yeah. doing tracks since, like, 2011 or stuff like that, like, you know what I mean? Like, uh, what um, Denzel Curry albums or tracks do you fuck with? Uh, there's this one song that Denzel Curry has the X. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's it's like fire. It's like one of my one of my favorite X songs that's like underground and got Denzel Curry. You know, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So Apex, I want to um talk about uh your name. Uh, what's the meaning of that? I know there's a deeper meaning to that name. You know, like what what's the meaning of your uh, music name? Um, Apex was made um really right after my first track. Um, I was skeptical about really my name because the fact of the matter is, like, I wanted my name to be unique. 
I wanted my name to be like known for for White Jill. So if at first there was a couple names that we made. Um, at first I was going to go with um Tasmanian Devil. Um, that's fine. It was gonna be it was gonna be Tasmanian Devil or um I forgot what some some people say you should call yourself Little Tazzy. Um, one person said Young Jackal. So I always laugh a lot. I don't know why niggas made that up. <laughs> But Apex stands for always pushing excellence, and um, that's always has been me. I always want to push as much as I can with this music scene. Um, just, just do what I have to do and make sure my shit is shown by everyone so they know my story and know my way. What would you say about the Northeast Maryland and uh, Northern Delaware music scene? Do you think it's strong, or do you think it has a long way to go? <sighs> Northeast. And Northeast, honestly, I, I got to say... We might have a long way to go. It just for me, and for Delaware, Delaware is on its way. I feel like Delaware, Del- a lot of Delaware rappers are on their way because they they just know how how life is. They know how to relate to it. They know how to rap about it, and it's it's and it's it's people think it's really hard, but it's honestly just rap your shit, rap about your life, and just get in your bag and understand understanding it. You can rap anything, but Northeast, honestly, we have a long way to go only because like there's a lot of people who will who will fall off who will fall off in literally a short amount of time because they don't have a lot of spirit. They don't have a lot of self what's the word I'm looking for? Self motivation. Confidence, yeah, yeah. Not enough rappers that are actually really, really good in Northeast as well. It's, it's just it's just not a lot of rappers that are like you know, that really stand out. Yeah. yeah, they don't take they I mean, don't. because a lot of people, I mean, and that's, I'm not trying to sound judgmental. Yeah. Because, <laughs> you know, a lot of people rap, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of people rap, but, like, a lot of people ain't, they, it's, a lot, it's no story behind it. You know what I mean? It's nothing behind it. It's just, it just sounds like sometimes when some people rap, they're just doing it for trying to sound cool or trying to, or trying to just uh, speak about stuff that they haven't seen before, and you know, we don't cap in our raps. Yeah, none, none, of that, <laughs> none, of that, none of that. No capping shit on playing raps, man. You know, we don't cap in our raps, so none of know. none of that. I just feel like that northeast northeast on rappers, they just they really do lose um their lose their motivation, and it, it's honestly it's be it's probably because they just don't believe in themselves that much. They just don't, and they might start. But they never finish, and we need people who is going to keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About consistency, yeah. Yeah, consistency, yeah. Consistency, so. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I think that there's a. I think Delaware still has a, a long, a long way to go, but they're they're getting there. But I do think that um, people in Woming. I don't really like the Wilmington, uh, Delaware rap scene. I think a lot of people up there are really cocky, and they're. I don't know if you get what I mean, but. Do, what do you think about the Wilmington rappers? I don't. I don't think. I think Southern Delaware is where it's at. Or do you guys not have an opinion about that? They all sound the same. Yeah, I was, gonna say, <laughs> I was gonna say that. I didn't want to really say it. I was gonna say that. So happy you did before me. Um, they all sound the same. I haven't heard nobody who stands out to me except for maybe one person. I got it. I ha- I have like two. Shout out! Shout out! Um. I'm not gonna shout him out. Actually, I'm not. <laughs> I must say, cause like I'm, I'm not giving no clout to no rappers. <laughs> you're not gonna give no clout. All right, I'll give one clout. Now, um, I met this dude in, in Wilmington when we did my um, we did our show, and shout out to Mo the protagonist. Um, dude, this dude. Okay, yeah, yeah. Dude, All right, I like him. Mo the protagonist. Mo the protagonist. Go check him out. If y'all don't know about him. Yeah, I got about him. Def- definitely. Sh- Definitely give him a shout out. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. When I came through, I can shout him out. He's not a, he's not a goofy. Man. Yeah, he ain't, he ain't, he ain't no goofy man. He I just, he just rapped his shit. Like I fuck with his energy. I fuck he's with not, his flow. Because a lot of, lot of rappers are kind of weird too. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they meet you and they act like they better than you. And you know what I mean? That's you know, industry shit, little fake rapper shit. You know, corny shit. Yeah. But we don't get into that, you know what I'm saying? We keep it all the way 100, keep it all the way real, you feel what I mean? Money ain't going to change us, you feel me? None of this shit going to change us, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, word of mouth. Yeah, and I've been in, in the rooms with a lot of rappers, and I'll tell you, there's just certain 
there are certain people that you know you you don't. No, I'm not trying to sound weird, but there's like there's certain vibes that you like get from people where you just want to like leave and not work with them again. But there are certain people that you just want to grab it. You want to like fuck with in person. And you really want to like get to know them. Like Jace and Stoner yeah. X and like Tizzy. Like those are some people that I, I mess with on like a really deeper um, level. But you know, what studios do you guys like really mess with or? producers or engineers locally that you like to shout out can't can't say i'm sorry to say i'm not giving away none of my studios because of the fact of the matter is that niggas become too nice and they forget what the nigga who put them on so i cannot give you no class you guys can go to the studios we don't attend to anymore <laughs> so the one that we don't attend to no more you guys can go to tank. Tank, you can go to tank the juice man how I'll give him a shout out. I'll give him a shout out. You can go to you can go to Ten Years Land. I um I just stop, I stop I stop um using um his because I wanted to discover a new new place. Actually, I highly don't suggest you go to Tang. Anybody, everybody who doesn't know this, I was just being funny. Don't go to Tang. He meet. It'll sound good the first few times you go, but he's guaranteed to just start doing weird things to music and it's not worth it you know what i'm saying when you go to get recorded make sure you go get recorded by somebody who's going to um take care of the music and treat it as, as if it was their own you know what i'm saying are you talking about the guy who uh, didn't didn't uh let us go in the studio that one time is that who you're talking about yep that's exactly who we fucking uh, talking yeah, about yeah. <laughs> that shit was wild bro that shit mm. oh my Did god just- yeah, I got I got so mad because like that night I was really really ready and we went there a couple times right after that and we fucked up a couple of our songs and like I I just I just I'm not I'm not here to make no arguments I'm not here to waste anybody's time but we saw it, we saw it. stuff like that if, you, if 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 it's not if the vibes ain't there you know what I mean if your engineer can't provide you with the vibe that you need to make good quality music it's it's just a waste of time you know and don't get me wrong like he's he's a good producer no cap but it's just about this like bro it's there's just some shit you have to understand that we artists we artists you're the producer when we give you shit and you we mix it when you mix it and you give it to us we want to hear that shit but we hear something that's wrong with it please fix it. I don't the engineers should want to go off the artist's idea. Yeah, you know true. And exactly. The, the artist is thinking, you know what I'm saying? He should never want to go off of just how he only feels and excuse me, you know, his, own, his own opinion, you know what I mean? He should, he should, want, to, he should want to see how the art, artist sees music as well, you know? Yeah, and also they're getting paid for that. You know what I mean? But and uh, like if 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 you're an engineer and you're giving trouble to your artist, make your own music. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> like, right. His music isn't good. I'm not. I ain't being funny, and I'm probably stamped a lot, but it's not very good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, um, <laughs> oh, let's not speak about it anymore. <laughs> All right, back after some technical difficulties, but I want to ask um a couple more things before we wrap this up. What's the message you're trying to get out with your music? Yeah, that's a nice question. That's a great ass question. Um, question. the message is, is for me is that I want people to understand that you don't have to live in a big ass known city or big ass <laughs> known place to understand that you, you you're you're you have good ass talent you you can blow up anywhere you really can blow up anywhere if you willing to put the work in and you willing to you willing to be yourself then that's all you need i'm just trying to be an inspiration to my town i'm trying to be an inspiration to the people who who lost themselves who think they can't do anything because they're not born the right way or they don't learn the same way or just people who've been bringing down to the other people but they don't understand your worth they can't see your worth you have to understand that yourself you're worth something and that's the message i'm going to do in my music like i just want before i die i want to become a big inspiration to my town 
That's what's up. What about you, Rambo? You you got a message you're trying to spread with your music? Definitely, definitely for all the young niggas coming up out of poverty and out of the struggle and you know trenches and shit. Like you know, that's where I come from. You know, that's what we, that's what that's what we grew up in. You know what I'm saying? That's you know what I'm saying. Like my uncle locked up right now. You feel me? My pops been in the streets. You feel what I'm saying? My uncle, been, his dad been in the streets, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, my niggas, dad was. You know what I'm saying? Niggas, you know what I'm saying? Niggas just grew up in the streets, you know what I'm saying? And, like, there's so many other young niggas out here in the world that just grew up the same way. And I feel like I can be the voice of the young niggas that's coming out of this shit, you feel me? And that's what I just try to do. And every song, you know what I'm saying? I try to give motivation and drop jewels on some Jay-Z shit to the niggas. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up, bro. I really appreciate you guys coming on the show. You got any uh, new music coming out you'd like to speak on or any new shows, videos uh, that you got planned before we can wrap this up that you can speak on? Definitely. Um, my cousin, my cousin's um, shit is coming out soon. Pandemic, man. Pandemic. That shit's coming out soon. That's fire as shit. Um, I, I the cover already and all that now, too. It's official. Fact. Um, Bangers After Breakup's gonna come out soon. That's me and his. Um, that we've been putting on the shelves for a minute, and now we're yeah, paying them and then, uh, bangers at the breakups. is gonna be really, it's gonna be, a, it's gonna, it's gonna be a movie. You know what I mean? It's gonna, it's gonna put you into a whole other world. Both takes it's gonna put you into a whole other world, and really put, really put you guys in our shoes in a certain point of time. And definitely, definitely, I just dropped. Don't want you to. Is that was probably one of my best ever rap mixed with pop type shit. That is out right the fuck now. Y'all love it, share it, man. And that's just only the beginning. We already know the buzz, man. You know how we rock it, not stopping, because bitch, we staying constant. Yeah, keep 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 streaming that that someone, man. Let me keep streaming that someone. Get to one hundred K, get to one hundred K, yeah. Yeah, hundred K, man. You already know it. Yeah. And a mill. Yeah, hundred mil, yeah. <laughs> Then a bill, then a trip. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, we going, we going up there. We're chasing. We're, we're shooting for the stars, man. And beyond that, the stars. All right. Thanks for coming on the show, man. Really appreciate it. Really fan of music and uh, links in the description to both of your music. I'm gonna title this a Rambo Rich and Apex interview. Thanks for coming on the show, both of you, and goodbye. Nah, bro.